everybody, my name's Aaron and welcome back to Frontline Kids. Today, hang on a minute, my friend's not here. Can you try calling for him? After three, his name's Ronald. Three, two, one, Ronald! Oh, he's still not here. Let's try again, but this time louder. Three, two, one, Ronald! Oh, hi, Ronald. Why don't you say hello? Uh, hi, my name's Ronald. It's good to see you. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun today. Do you? Oh, I sure do. Do you want to play a game with all the boys and girls at home? What game should we play? How about Find Ronald? Oh, I love that game, but I forgot how to play it. Well, don't worry, I'll explain it to you. What you have to do is I'll show you a photo and somewhere in that photo, my friend Ronald will be hiding. If you find him, you win. <laughs> So today, we're going to read the story of Gideon. This is in Judges 6. Now, are we ready? Alright. So, the Israelites are being attacked by these people called the Midianites. Now, these are really powerful people, but they're not very nice people, and they're not doing what God wants them to do. So, these, these uh, Midianites are attacking the Israelites and Gideon. And they're, um, they're burning their crops and their houses and they're destroying all their land. And uh, what the Israelites have to do is hide in caves in the mountains. Now, the, the Israelites are like, Lord, why have you left us? Why, why is this, all this bad thing happening to us? So the Lord sends down a prophet. The prophet said, the reason this is happening to you is because you're worshipping these false gods and God is the only God. Now, an angel of the Lord comes down and visits Gideon. And he says, and the angel says, um, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. And Gideon's like, what? If the Lord is really with me, then how come all these bad things are happening? And the angel says, go in the strength you have and save Israel uh, out of the Midian's hand. So uh, Gideon replies, and he's saying, what? How can I do that? I'm the smallest. I'm the youngest. I'm the weakest. I'm not good enough. I can't do this. But the angel says that the Lord it will be with him and they will strike them, uh, the Midianites down together. Now Gideon's like, hmm, how do I know it's you? How do I know you really are an angel of the Lord? So he says, give me a sign. So Gideon goes back to his house and brings back some meat and some bread and puts it on a rock. Now, the angel just taps it with his staff that he's been holding and the rock bursts up in flames and the, with the bread and the meat and all of a sudden, the angel is gone. Now Gideon's like, wow, I really have seen an angel of the Lord. Now I'm confident that I can take down the Midianites with the power the Lord has given me. So the main point of the story is that God chose Gideon even though he was the weakest, the smallest, the youngest and he couldn't, he didn't believe that he could do it. This means that God can choose you, yeah you, 
to do absolutely great things if you've got the Lord on your side. Later on in the story, Gideon goes on to defeat the Midianites with God on his side. He only uses torches hidden inside cups and trumpets. So, today, we are going to make one of the torches, just like Gideon used. All you will need for today's craft is some fire-coloured paper. You can use orange, red, yellow, anything. You could even colour in uh, a white piece of paper uh, into a uh, fire. Then you'll need some tape or some glue or even a stapler. Uh, you'll also need an empty toilet roll tube and some scissors. And finally, you'll need a disposable cup, like a plastic one or a paper one, anything. Let's get on with the craft. It's super duper easy. The first instruction is to take your fire coloured paper and cut it into a size a little bit like this. It doesn't have to be just like this. You can do it however you like. So once we've done that, all we need to do is roll it up like this and pop it in your empty toilet roll tube. That looks lovely. Now I'm going to push it down a bit so if you get a bit at the bottom here just get your scissors cut it off. Easy as that. So now that you've got your fire coloured paper in the tube what you need to do now, get some tape, get some glue, get a stapler, and stick it down. So, the next thing you need to do, now that you've got your flame, is get your disposable cup and plop it in. Easy as that. So now it looks like you're hiding your flame inside your cup. Awesome. So, last thing to do. Is decorate it, decorate the flame, add some squiggles on it to make it look like it's really there. Decorate the tube, put some stickers on it, some glitter. I'm going to write my name on it. A A R O N. Easy. That's all you need to do. Decorate the cup. If you've got a paper one or a polystyrene one, that'll be easy. If you've got one like mine, it's not that easy. But maybe if you stick a piece of paper around it. You can colour it in, you can make it look absolutely amazing. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright. So I'm just going to pray and then we'll close. Lord, thank you for all the fun that we've had today. We pray to be more like Gideon, to trust in you, God, because we know if we follow your way, we can do whatever you want us to do. Amen. So quickly before we go, just want to let you know that we have some activity sheets. Um, so we would love to see uh, you do it. Um, send them in, uh, message us, do whatever. Let us know what you've done. We would absolutely love to see them and see what you've been doing over this really long holiday. Awesome. So, I really hope you enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun, and I'm sure Ronald has, wherever he's got to. Um, am I right? Bye-bye now.